Hello everybody, Cavern here, and today I am going to review um, the uh, Playmates Toho Classics um, Godzilla Ultima from Godzilla Singular Point. The uh, anime that came out in 2021, which in my opinion is arguably the better Godzilla anime. Just saying, I'm not trying to jab at the fans of... Earth, if you like Earth, more power to you, but I prefer a singular point, but, but anyways, um, the Godzilla Ultima figure that came out in, uh, either 2021 or 2022, more likely 2022, but, anyway, let's get to reviewing on this, uh, big guy and his luscious, thick, eyes. <laughs> Anyways, um, the only two, um, known, the only, um, known forms of, old, of Singular Point Godzilla that have been Playmates figures in this line are Ultima and Terrestrials, which he will get his own video. And also, um, also this was originally going to be an unboxing. But, unfortunately... But I decided to do it anyways, but this, this, this detail right here took way too long to put on. So it's a good thing I got him out of the box before doing the video. Because otherwise, this thing would take way too much of the video time that I would like. So this video would probably take like, like what? Maybe around 30 minutes, and maybe 30 minutes long. And <laughs> with certain figures I reviewed, I'm, I'm not sure if anyone's got the uh, attention span to to watch 30 minutes of someone struggling to put on a Godzilla tail because they playmates had to make it difficult. Anyways, let's review the sculpt of this guy. Here we go, inside the mouth. And if you can't really see it, um, the mouth, the inside of the mouth, well, it does have a lot of detail in the mouth. The long, each tooth has its own, uh, little sculpt detail. And, um, along the neck, it's kind of smooth right here, unfortunately. Although the, the dorsal fins are great, all the way to the tail, they're pretty primarily precise. And, uh, although the slight issue right here, um, misalignment right here with the, with a, uh, dorsal fin part of the tail, and, oh, actually, there's not even where the tail connects. It's right here. Well, part of the tail connects, um, and, uh, see, not really great. I'm not sure if it's my copy or it's just more or less a, um, Ultima issue. See, we got around to the sol sh shoulders. Ugh. I don't like how this how this arm is like stretched out. And also, um, when you lift him up, it does look kind of wonky when he does that. Um, and he does also look. Like, although it's funny that he looks like he's about to high five. <laughs> Say ah. But um, yeah um, very smooth right here. I mean. I know a lot of people aren't going to pay attention since, well, duh, it's a children's toy, but I kind of noticed that. But it's very, but you have to, like, off position it in a certain way in order for it to work. But at least the, un right here in the armpit, it's pretty finely detailed. Detailed right here, here you see his abs, um, nicely detailed. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, you get to see his he's, his arm also kind of suffer. Other arm suffers from sculpt issue, but it's still pretty good sculpt right here too. in this area. His details at the arms. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, yeah. Now we're getting to the luscious thighs, and they're very well sculpted. <laughs> um, although I noticed that his um groin area is a little flat. <laughs> nice detail.
details, but flat. <coughs> I'm not even really sure about ultimate. The ultimate really had a very flat area, but I guess it's not not nothing too much to complain about. The claws right here feel very smooth. The feet um feel very smooth, sort of. I mean, not with the claw area specifically. I mean, of course, the feet are going to be smoothed out to you know for standing him up properly. Tail is very well detailed. Although it does suffer from a smooth edge issue, especially up here. But um, for the most part, it's actually pretty good. Good good on you, Playmates. And also, um, another issue to point out, flat in this area. A little key right here in the key details. But yeah, other than that though, it's... It's pretty good. Um... I would rate this um, 6.5 for a sculpt. Not bad, but not exactly my favorite either. Since you know there's a lot of smooth in the areas and certain issues I have with the this arm right here. But it's fine though, nonetheless. Now, let's move on to the paint job. And we could tell his body is mainly uh, a grayish color. Of course. Start off with a gray base. We get some pain right here. Now, um, let me take a good look at um, Ultima and see how um, accurate he kind of can he is. <clears throat> he he. The figure is compressed into his anime counterpart. Um, well, as we can tell, though, the gray is obviously lighter than the, uh, actual, uh, Ultima, in a way, but so does a Bandai, but I guess it's also because lighting in the actual show is a little darker, hence why he's, um, like that, but his paint job is pretty good. I mean, the white, the white on his spines, and also, Playmates did a thing that Bandai would never do. Paint all the way to the tail tip. That is so cool. That is so awesome. And they also, I noticed a thing in comparison to the, to the, uh, Bandai. Um, yeah. In comparison to the Bandai, Playmates actually managed to paint this part right here. Like, that is pretty interesting, actually. Um... That is actually really cool that they actually decided to do that. And also the mouth inside is also painted. The teeth are all the way painted. The paint job on this guy is way better than what Bandai could pull, really. Because also right here, along his spines, he has the red lines in his, um, in his uh, spine. Because, of course, he's the singular point. But, unfortunately, it does feel a little spray painty. Right here, because you notice some areas where they, they kind of missed, but it's not bad. It's just it's not bad though. It's really not because they did a thing Bandai didn't do with Ultima. Give him lines <laughs> and his eyes. Let's take a good look at his eyes. They, they don't look. They kind of look derpy, but they don't look like. I mean, they don't look derpy. <laughs> it kind of actually looks derpy, but not too derpy, though. Pretty impressive. Not too derpy. It just looks like he's, like, going, <laughs> He looks like some, uh, silly cartoon dinosaur when you look at his face. But, uh, yeah, that's the paint job of Ultima. He gets a, um, it, he gets a nice... I got ten. Also, um, his claws are all the way around painted, but his dew claw isn't, so that's kind of why it's an eight. Certain missed details, but overall, it's definitely better than Bandai's. Good job on you, playmates. You managed to make a better painted Godzilla than Bandai, a Japan, than Bandai does. Impressive. So, um, yeah, eight out of ten for uh paint job. Um, now we check up the next detail. Another thing. Articulation. 
In total, this guy has six points. Which is head. That nice squeak. All the way around. But I don't really recommend doing that though. Because he now kind of got a little weird issue now. Um, around the arms, but not all the way though, because, well, dude's luscious thighs. Very kind of Lucy though. Kind of Lucy. And also, it's a little awkward when you move because if you look right here, you see where the issue kind of rides. It doesn't really look, it looks, it looks rather awkward when you move his arms around. Same so goes right here. It's like they're fixed on a certain position only. Which kind of sucks too. And then we get to the thighs. Do -do. Can't really go back here. His thighs are too thick. He's too thick. Hey, thick. And you go around right here. You barely get by the tail. Almost a completely circular motion. And of course, for the tail, which is obviously stuck onto, all the way around. But not bad articulation, but it definitely doesn't really need to call for it, if you know what I mean. Like, the arms are fixed on a certain position only, and it's kind of weird how you articulate them. And, um, I feel like the only really movable set without it being too awkward would be Ultima's head and, uh, tail, but uh, that's just me saying, but still, not bad. Not bad at all, but it's definitely not worth as much of a scalp price as it is on online. Like, holy shit, this thing is very much scalped. Um, but yeah, um, articulation, I'll just give it a pretty decent 7. The legs do have nice, have a nice, you can actually make him do this. With his nice legs. But, um, yeah. And in total points, he gets 15. He gets a 21.5 out of 30 in total. And, uh, yeah. And also, um, this figure, um, for, also this figure, by the way, isn't quite, um, anime accurate since his arms don't, don't didn't really have much actual movement in the anime. If you want a, uh, but in looks, though, it's very, um, like, actual looks, though, it's, it's, it's pretty good, though, for accuracy. But hey, sometimes show accuracy doesn't matter. It is a pretty good figure. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, this has been, um, the review on Ultima, and, uh, it's biting me. And it's been the review of Ultima. Um, hope to see you again soon. Um, if you liked the video, drop a like, subscribe. If you didn't, well, whatever. Um, ow. Um, goodbye. Ah.